almost 30 years, Darwin gathered evidence to support his theory. Then in 1859, he published a book called The Origin of Species, presenting his ideas on the way in which different kinds of living things come into being. He said there is a struggle for existence because many more individuals are born than can possibly survive. He said there is variation because no two individuals, even of the same kind, are exactly alike. He said there will be natural selection as individuals pass on their useful variations to their offspring. Generation succeeds generation, and new kinds of animals gradually make their appearance. Thus, new species originate. In this way, said Darwin, the vast variety of living things have all originated. Through variation and natural selection, one kind evolves from another. All are different, yet all are related. Almost a century and a half have passed since Darwin's voyage to the Galapagos. By studying many kinds of living things, we have learned much about the origin of species. But few animals have had more effect on scientific thinking than Darwin's 